thinking about work? The hospital is a nice place to work, right? You don't seem sure. Let's go take a look. A hospital is a big place with a lot of people doing a lot of different jobs. It can be a demanding work environment. It's important that people work together. And it's nice to see people enjoying each other's company and getting along together, right? But take a closer look. Things aren't always as pleasant as they seem. Gossip at the expense of a co-worker and exclusion from social interaction can be very hurtful. Constructive feedback from a supervisor or superior helps us do our job better. It's valuable, right? But take a closer look. Sometimes, people think that their position gives them the right to be abusive. They use their power to threaten or humiliate. You have friends in the workplace, right? It's nice to have co-workers that you enjoy working with. But take a closer look. Allowing friendships to get in the way of functioning as a team can be detrimental in the workplace in many ways. Gossiping, exclusion, humiliation and withholding support are all types of bullying. And when bullying happens in the workplace, it's a serious problem. These are what we call observable bullying behaviors. Gossiping about a co-worker or making that person feel excluded, ignored or isolated can be emotionally damaging. It really hurts. When someone is publicly humiliated or rebuked, it can shatter their self-confidence and affect their ability to work. Withholding support can have a negative impact on the effectiveness of the work team and ultimately on patient service. Observable bullying behaviors are fairly obvious if you know what to look for. But bullying can also be much more subtle. Things like deliberately impeding someone's work, stealing credit for someone else's ideas, raising false doubts about a co-worker's performance, being two-faced. These are examples of subtle bullying behaviors. Whether the bullying is observable or subtle, its effects can be devastating. People who are targets of bullying can experience physical symptoms such as exhaustion, loss of strength, and disturbed sleep patterns. Emotionally, they can suffer a loss of self-respect, diminished interpersonal skills, and a fear of going to work. By standing aside and letting it happen, you become an accomplice to bullying. Everyone has a responsibility to prevent bullying. That includes you. You can make a difference. By standing up for your colleagues, you can stop harassment and bullying. It may not always be possible or appropriate to intervene personally. When that's the case, report the incident to a supervisor or manager. The most important thing you can do to stop bullying is to take action. Being willing and able to recognize bullying in the workplace is the first step. And remember, anyone can be a target of bullying, even you. So be aware of bullying where you work and root it out. Just like those weeds you've got growing in your garden. For more information on how to stop bullying, visit our website.